Item 41 refers to the following table, which shows the frequency of scores obtained by students in a test. So these are the scores and these are the students, the number of students. So the model score is the score that corresponds to the highest number of students. So we can see that the highest number of students, the highest number of students is, is 12 and it corresponds to this score. So the model score is 8. Now we proceed with the question 42. The heights in centimeters of 10 students are 150. So these are the heights. We want to find the range. So you know before we can calculate the range, we need to know the least and the highest value. Because the difference between the least and the highest value is the range. So if you like you can rearrange to obtain this or if you can also fish out the highest from the list that one is also up to you so we can see now by rearranging that the highest is 170 and the least is 150 therefore the range is 170 minus 150 which is equal to 20 Item 43 refers to the following bar chart, which shows the ages of children who took part in a survey. So how many children took part in a survey? So we just have to add the frequencies. So these are the number of children. We have three for those. Um, For those with age four years, and those who are five years old, we have four of them, and those who are six years old, we have six of them. We have a sorry, we have two of them. We have two of them. So this is two. We have two of them. Then those who are seven years old, we have five of them. So you can see that when we add, when we add the frequencies we get the number of students who who took part in the survey so we add all of them 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 1 and that will be equal to 15 so we have 15 children taking part in the survey we have these 600 students write an examination the probability of a randomly selected student failing the examination is 1 out of 5. How many students are expected to pass? So we know that probability that a student fails is 1 over 5. So the complement, which is probability that the student passes, will be 1 minus the 1 over 5, which is 4 over 5. So the expected number of students who are supposed to pass is the probability times the number of students and that will give you 480 because 5 will go into 600 120 times then 4 times 120 will be 480 so the correct answer is option c now let us look at the 45th item item 45 refers to the following pie chart which shows the drinks referred by a group of students angle aoc is the diameter aoc line aoc this straight line is the diameter of the circle if 12 students prefer lemonade then the total number of students is what so since this is a diameter it means a straight line so these two angles must add up to 180 so this one will be 60 degrees So the angle corresponding to the lemonade is 60 degrees. So it means that 60 out of the total are the people corresponding are the proportion that correspond to lemonade. So now that we know the proportion that correspond to lemonade, to find the total number of students, we can use uh, fraction. 
we know that if the total number of students is x then one sixth of x one sixth of x will be equal to um, will give us a number for lemonade which is 12 so we can solve for we can solve for we can solve for the total number of students by multiplying both sides by 6 by 6 so this one by 6 this one 2 by 6 and 12 times 6 will give you 42 uh, 72 therefore the correct option is B okay so let's proceed with item 46 item 46 refers to the following mapping diagram so we have a mapping diagram here you can see that we have two two x values mapping onto one y value so we have many x values many x values going for only one uh, y value so we have many to one many to one relation the relation is many to one so the mapping is many to one uh, correct under I see which of the following line graphs represents this inequality so we know this is an inequality and the boundaries are 4 and negative 2 so for the net for 4 the circle over there should be dipping because we have an inequality boundary or an inequality under the we have a, an equation uh, we have an equal to sign including the inequality so this one is absolute inequality no equality equation sign so the circle over there will be open so that is how it will look like so that is option D that correspond to that graph the graph of option D is corresponding to this inequality then let us let us do the item 48 to 49 uh, refer to the following graph of a quadratic function. So this is a, this is a graph, a maximum graph. So the highest point here is the maximum point. So this point here is the maximum point. And we know we move two units here, then we move four units up. So this coordinate is two four, two four. Therefore, the maximum point is two four. Item 49. The values of x at the point where y equal f of y equal 4x minus x squared intersects y equals 0 are uh, so y equals 0 is this line. Y equals 0 is the x as is. So this y equals 0. So you can see that the graph intersects the line y equals 0 at this point and at this point therefore the x values here is x equals 0 x equals 0 then over here is x equal 4 therefore the correct option is x equals 0 and x equal 4 Item 50 refers to the following mapping diagram. So we have a mapping diagram here, and we can observe a pattern. Observe that. Observe that. If you take two exponent zero, we get one. Then two exponent one, two exponent one, we get two. Then two, two exponent, two exponent two, we get four then 2 exponent 3 we get 8 so 2 exponent 0 2 exponent 1 2 exponent 2 2 exponent 3 so in general we are raising the x values we are raising 2 to the exponent of x values so that will give us the f of x therefore the mapping will be f of x f of f is such that f of x is such that x maps onto x map onto 
to exponent x so that is our the result that is the correct option will be option c thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe